Take my hand and hold it tight. Look at the paintings, I'll be your guide. Don't stop looking in my eyes. Are you? Back to my channel and if you're new welcome to my channel today I'm going to do my first ever actually week in my life as a student I've done like vlogs where it's been like a week long but it's like a big little week or something where it's really small this is gonna be like a full week in my life so today is my first day of two of my classes and tomorrow is my first day of two of my classes because this is really only my second day of school so you'll get to like actually go on this little adventure with me while I start all these classes right now it's Monday morning I spent the whole weekend, literally the whole weekend, studying and doing homework. Like, like never before. Like, finals week times a thousand still. And it's only the first weekend of school. So, should be interesting. Um, but right now, I'm running by Adele's because she has one of the books for me. She accidentally ordered two, so she gave me one of them. And I'm taking her this little gift, which I had gotten before orientation, but I didn't get to give it to her yet. But I got this little jar with like little snacks for back to school. It has like uh, fruit snacks and Smarties and stuff like that in here. And then this little purple badge reel, because I actually have the matching one in pink, so it's like kind of cute. I don't know, her favorite color is purple. And then her favorite candy is Spree. So I have two boxes of Spree for her. So I'm gonna take that to her and then get the textbook from her and then we have class at 1 today So we kind of get like a nice little morning break before class Okay, so I just got home and picked up this from Adele's which is my health assessment Lab manual and there's like some study guides and stuff that I have to complete and turn in for next week So here's that and I gave her her little gift and then all I have left now is this one for my friend Bridget, but she is not in Galveston yet, so I'm gonna be holding on to this. So right now I'm gonna get out my planner and figure out what's going on today, which is a lot, I already know. But I've been really productive this weekend, like literally so productive. So I honestly couldn't have done any better than what I've done. Okay, so this is my to-do list for the day. I have class at one. It's currently 11.06, so I have a little bit of time this little voice thread that's on here takes about 30 minutes and it's for my intro class so I'm going to go ahead and listen to that so that I can get a little head start in what we're doing in class. And then right after that Skype call, I have a Zoom for health assessment. And I was supposed to read chapters 8, 9, and 10 and start on some study guides and stuff for that. But my book is actually not here yet and a lot of the stuff is interactive with the book. So I'm going to have to wait until probably Wednesday when I don't have class at all to just get caught up on that. But it's not going to hurt me. I haven't had class yet so it's not like I'm behind yet. And then I have a pathophysiology tutoring session tonight over what we lectured the other day. And then tomorrow I have my lab day so y'all will get to see that. And Wednesday I have a free day and you'll get to see all of this craziness and yeah, this planner is only getting bigger and bigger and I've only had two classes so far so it should be fun and I'm going to start studying right now. I'll have a cup of tea while you have a latte for both you and me, the caffeine will make sure that you don't... Okay, so I'm talking to Kyle on FaceTime right now and getting my stuff ready for lunch and also getting like a snack together because I have class from 1 to 5 and then tutoring at 5.30 so I'm sure I'm gonna get hungry for dinner somewhere in there. So I'm going to fill this little thing with like apples and cheese 
as like a little snack and then make a sandwich to eat right now with Kyle. I just ate my sandwich and got off of FaceTime with Kyle, but I'm drinking Dr. Pepper right now because I just really need some caffeine to get through this long little session I'm about to endure. But I am waiting right now to join the Zoom call for my intro to professional nursing class. I had just listened to the recorded lecture and made some flashcards so that I can like fill out the other side during class. But I thought like if I made the flashcard like the front of it and then listened to it, I can make notes faster while she's lecturing on it that way. I don't know. I just thought it'd be a good way to listen to the information first before I start trying to write stuff down. So I have these ready to go because I'm about to fill those out. And then I have right after, literally immediately right after, I have health assessment. Everyone has told me that health assessment is like super hard. So I'm a little bit nervous for the class, but we'll see when I get there and I'll let you guys know how they both go. With me, I could show you that you've never seen Let's go to an art museum I'll explain it at the coffee shop I know you don't get it But there's no need to fret it It's like a gift It's about the dog Okay, so it's 525 And I actually left my class early Because she Well, it's supposed to end at 5 But she's still lecturing But we have tutoring in 5 minutes And I'm starving And I had to go to the bathroom So I left Hopefully I didn't miss anything important, but I have my apples and cheese that I prepared earlier. I'm gonna take it to my room and log on to pathophysiology tutoring. So yeah, but other than that, it's been really good today and I'll tell you guys about it after I figure all this out. <laughs> guys i just finished class it is 7 21 so i've been like on straight call since one o'clock i ended up laying on the floor and like pretending i was sitting up but my laptop is on my bed right now so i'm kind of cheating the system but yeah it is 7 21 right now and i've been on call since one o'clock so i'm really tired i want to take a shower i need to do a lot of stuff because my first day of lab is tomorrow and i need to make dinner because i'm really hungry so i'm not sure which one i'm gonna do first but right now I just want to lay on the floor and stretch out my back. <laughs> okay, well I just laid on the floor for like 20 minutes and actually was it 20 minutes? Could be more. For like 25 minutes and now I am going to get some dinner because I'm really hungry. I think I'm going to get some leftover pasta because I don't feel like making anything tonight. And I had some from last night so I think that's what we're going to do. Yes, perfect. nothing more there's raindrops on my window and i'm going nowhere fast behind these closed eyes i visualize what will come and what is past but mama turn the light on mama stir me from my sleep i've been sleeping too long i've been dreaming too long and i just want to lie here Good morning, today is day two. It is Tuesday and it is my lab day, which is why I'm wearing my scrubs. Even on Zoom, we need to wear our scrubs. So that is why I'm dressed lab appropriately right now. Today's my very first day of lab. I have health assessment from nine to 12. And then I have my adult health class from one to four. So yeah, I have a little break for lunch in between. And 
that's pretty much how it goes. I have all of my equipment next to me. So like my stethoscope is in here and just like my pen lights and everything like that. And then I have my blood pressure cuff right here and my clinical notebook, which is right here in case I wanted to add anything to it. It is currently 8.52. My waffles are gonna be ready at 8.56. I'm literally just gonna scarf them down before class starts. And also I for think I forgot to talk about this yesterday, but I got my clinical assignment yesterday. Um, I'm going to be doing my clinicals on Saturdays from 6.30 to 6.30. So now my schedule, I have school Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and then I have clinical Saturday. So I have Wednesdays, Fridays, and Sundays off. But yeah, just thought I would update you guys. I don't start clinicals until February, but I thought that I would let y'all know. So my posting schedule will still be Sundays at noon just because I know I have Sundays off and I can edit like Fridays or Wednesdays or something. So. Yeah, that's the update, but I'm gonna get ready for class. So I'm gonna take my best shot. Shout out a bed to the tip top. Sitting on the edge of my bed. Waiting by the river, waiting by the river. I found a little piece of homestead. Waiting by the river, waiting by the river. It's clear to see I'm free. Yeah, waiting by yeah. the river, waiting by the river. I'm chasing these dreams awake or asleep. Okay, I made it through my lab day. I'm sorry I didn't get to vlog during my like lunch break. Our first class like went till like 12.40 instead of ending at 12 and then I had 20 minutes to like make some phone calls and like scarf down my lunch before my next lab. But my next lab ended like 40 minutes early so it bounced back out and that was really nice. But I had health assessment this morning and adult health in the afternoon. Health assessment was pretty basic. We introduced ourselves at the beginning which is kind of nice because it took like an hour and a half and I also got to meet people in my cohort for the first time so that was kind of nice and then we just went over some like orientation stuff and started getting ready to work on head to toe assessments and then for adult health we also got oriented and talked about COVID training and PPE and all the requirements right now so yeah I feel a lot better a lot more organized now that I've officially had every single one of my classes and right now I'm about to eat something because I barely ate my lunch and probably take a small break before I start studying. Also, one of my textbooks that I really need is not here yet and it said I was gonna get here today. So I hope it gets here soon so I don't have to stay up too late reading it. So I just realized that I took a nap and I did not intend to, but it was necessary to take care of yourself. Okay, well, I just napped for 25 minutes, so it's fine. I look like I napped for like four hours, but that was literally 25 minutes. Oh my gosh. Anyways, I am going to get some Dr. Pepper because I think some caffeine is necessary right now. Tomorrow I don't have class at all, so it's just gonna be like a get stuff done kind of day. And yeah, we're gonna do this. We can do it. Okay, so right now I'm putting my stuff away from lab into this bag, which I will do like what's in my clinical bag, what's my lab bag tour one day, once I <laughs> have everything that I need. Um, here is my printer and I'm trying to figure out what kind of ink it needs because all my professors want me to print stuff. And I was trying not to buy printer ink because it's so expensive, but now I'm going to. And moving over to my desk where I need to figure out all the stuff I'm gonna try to get done tonight. It is about 6, I think. Yes, it's about 6 o'clock, and I'm going to FaceTime Kyle tonight at 8, so I'm going to try to do as much as I can before then. Hey guys, it's been a minute, but I um, ate two fried eggs for dinner tonight and talked to Kyle and his family on Zoom, and then I listened to two pathophysiology lectures, which I'm going to cross off in my planner, but those are for Thursday's lecture, so I was just watching the lecture like the recorded one to get ahead so that whenever we do have lecture, I will already kind of know what we're talking about. And I'm super happy because it's all about hormones and I love hormones. I really love women's health, but I also love hormones. And so I like to like look into both. I don't know, I just think hormones are so interesting. So I'm really glad it's about hormones because that's something I feel confident in. So yeah, I just did those two modules, which we do two modules every lecture. So I'm good to go for Thursday, so I'm crossing that off. And then basically, um, tomorrow I need to run a few errands and then 
do a little bit of dosage calculation and a little bit of adult health. So yeah, that's gonna be fun. But I'm really excited because I don't know why I didn't realize this, but we have a four day weekend because I don't have class on Fridays and Monday is MLK day. So I actually get Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday to like study and get caught up. So that is really nice, really thankful for that. I really need it, especially because I'm super tired today. I'm not sure why I'm so tired, but hopefully tomorrow I can sleep in at least until my body needs me to sleep in. I'm probably not gonna set an alarm and just see what my body needs and then I can start trying to get some stuff done. Oh my gosh, I look like the Joker, like in the dark. <laughs> look at how I look in my camera. Look. Can you see that? Oh my. Understand just what I mean. When I'm asleep, I will dream. And when I wake, you will see. That even as I lie here, thinking where I'll be in five years, I know today is all I ever got. I know today will be my best shot. Sitting on the edge of my bed, waiting by the river, waiting by the river. I found a little piece of homestead. morning slash good afternoon my hair is a mess right now but i am getting ready to get some stuff done today um this morning i slept in till my body woke up i woke up around like 8 30 but i stayed in my bed till like 10 so i did that and then i took a shower ate some breakfast and now i'm going to do something with this hair because i was exercising i was learning tiktok dances and I need to fix my hair before I go. So right now I'm going to use Heritage, which this is also not sponsored, but I've been obsessed with this. I got this for Christmas. It's just like the Heritage Argan Oil and I'm in love with it. So I'm gonna put some of that in my hair, get some stuff, and I'll let you guys know what I'm doing in a second. That the world outside is just a metaphor for these eyes. And even if they have to criticize, I fear Okay, I did my hair and it smells really good and it's really soft now. Also, I just want to say that mask I did yesterday, I know you guys can't tell, but like my skin was so freaking dry and it feels so much better. Like it was like hurting to move my face because of how dry it was and now it feels so much better. So I really like that. I'm probably going to do it again like this weekend. But today I am going to run a few errands. First, I need to take my scrubs to an alterations place because they need to put the patch on the sleeve and get some printer paper because I need to print some stuff today. And I'm gonna study and try to get as much done. But basically this morning was just like a slow morning because I just needed some slowness after all the craziness. And what I'm learning so far in nursing school, which I know I haven't been here very long, but it's a very one day at a time type thing to do. I don't wanna look past this week. We're just gonna take it one step at a time. So that's what I'm doing. And today is my off day. So I'm going to take all my stuff in. <laughs> okay, so vlog update. But I drove to the first alterations place and there was nothing there. Like the place was not there. And I put it on Apple Maps and Google Maps. So then I was like, I'll just find another alterations place. And I did the same thing. And it said it's supposed to be next to this church. And there's nothing next to this church. <laughs> so I'm super confused. These places just don't exist. Okay, I found the place. It was actually connected to a church, which is what threw me off, but I got it in. I have to pick them up on Friday, so I'm not sure how much it's gonna cost. Hopefully it's not too bad, but I left those there, and now I'm at Walmart because I need to pick up a few small things in printer paper. I'm not gonna take my camera in just because there's a lot of people here right now, and it makes me uncomfortable taking my camera like with COVID and stuff, so I'm gonna leave my camera here, but I'll be right back. Okay, I just got back in my car and this freaking old man, this man whistled at me and said, Ooh, you got legs for days, just like my granddaughter. I can't. Anyways, so my Walmart haul consists of computer paper. We love some copy paper. 
um, some milk just because I really needed milk and I was gonna wait to get groceries this weekend but I really do need milk so I got some milk and some chicken taquitos because I really have been wanting some chicken like so bad I don't really eat meat very much um, I guess I have meat on my sandwiches but that's about it so I really wanted some chicken and that was in the end cap so it tempted me so anyways got my Walmart stuff I'm headed back to my apartment and I'm really freaking hungry it is 3 30 and I need some lunch so we're good I realized that I'm waking up now my mind is flooded and I'm over but even after all the said and done I fear I'll be right So I just baked some cookies that are cooling down and I have my planner out because I'm trying to figure out what assignments to get done but first I need to set up my printer so that's what I'm going to do. I'm no printer expert but I never really used this printer. I got it for Christmas a couple years ago and I wasn't allowed to use it at my dorm so now I'm trying to figure out how to use it here. I found a little piece of homestead. Some upsetting news is I need ah, I need a USB cord and I don't have one or at least I don't think I have one. I don't really know anything about electronics, but yeah, I'm going to Walgreens. Hopefully they have one there. I just got back and I got this from Target. A lot more money than I wanted to spend, but they didn't have like just the cable by itself. I had to buy the like universal thing. So yeah. I just need to open it. What the heck? Chasing these dreams awake. I'm chasing these dreams awake or asleep. Okay, I forgot to vlog, but basically what I did was I um offered some money in the group chat for someone to print out my forms and bring them to me. So that's what I did. Shout out to my homeboy who brought me some forms for some money. But anyways, it's fine. Um, so yeah, I finished that and then I finished reading a chapter and took a quiz and it's almost one in the morning, which is not my favorite time to go to sleep. But today I'm going to have to do that because I have class tomorrow, but I got everything done that needed to get done and that is all that matters. So yeah, I'm going to sleep now, but I'll see you guys tomorrow for Patho in the morning. In my world, I don't worry, darling. I just smile because you're by my side. Okay, so I know I haven't vlogged at all today. I just did school. It was not very vlog worthy, but I did school. I ate my lunch and now I'm about to make dinner. Um, I'm going to make some chicken taquitos tonight because I want some chicken really bad. And I'm trying to see if Adele wants to hang out so I can do some calculations with her and also do my laundry at her place because the laundry room here has been broken for like a week. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. Crazy night, I know. And now your eyes open up every morning. All right, I just got home, but I got a butt ton of stuff done today. I did four quizzes that I had to get hundreds on to pass. So I did all four of those. And I also finished my disease templates for pathophysiology. So that was something I was gonna do this weekend, but I already did it, so that's really nice. But tomorrow is a super busy day. I don't have class at all, but I have a lot of stuff to do. So I'm gonna take you guys on my day tomorrow and then I'm gonna wrap up the vlog. So sorry that I didn't vlog that much today. It was just kind of boring. I was just doing class and homework, but I hope you guys still enjoyed today's montages. But good night and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, it's Friday and you're still here. If you're still watching this video, comment down below and let me know because you guys are freaking awesome. But anyways, we made it to Friday and today I'm going COVID testing with Adele and Quinn because we have to test five days before we return to school and we're returning to school next week. So we are going to COVID test this morning and then I have a lot of stuff to do. So today should be a more interesting vlog. But I just showered, as you can tell, and I'm dressed. I shaved my legs for the first time in like a week. Feels so good feeling myself today, but I gotta go because I'm gonna meet at Adele's and I'm kind of 
in a rush. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. The love that shines in mine And I see it in yours too So now I sing to you And when you go Okay, so I just got back from taking my COVID test. Let me... That's fun, waiting on the results. And yeah, now I'm at Adele's and we're gonna study and get some stuff done. And then I need to go pick up my scrub top, which I had to get the patch sewn on the other day. So I need to go pick that up. And what else are we doing today? Oh, and we have pathophysiology tutoring later today. Okay, I'm here with my homie Adele. Hello. And <laughs> we're picking up my scrub top and dropping off her scrub pants. Yay. So that's fun. We love alterations places. <laughs> I got my scrub top with the patch on it, right? Wait, where's the patch? Here it is, right here. So now I can wear these on Tuesday. And Adele and I got some Subway, so we're ready to eat lunch because I'm starving. Do you have anything to say to the vlog? No. I'm excited about nursing school with Erica. Yes, we're learning Big so much. Big little dates. It's a big little date. Oh big my gosh. Big little date that oh. happens to be 16 months long. Do we get points? Um, <laughs> infinite points. Leave me here all alone. I'll be waiting. We can make it because I know. Okay, so I'm still at Adele's and we're starting tutoring round two. Here's Olivia. Hi. <laughs> but we're about to learn some more patho, which we've been doing for the past like five and a half hours, also talking. Go but nursing school. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Okay, so I forgot to vlog the rest of the night, but I literally came home, ate some pasta, and then I saw a friend that I haven't seen in over a year, so I just wanted to like hang out and talk. So nothing crazy happened, but that is a whole week in my life at nursing school. I hope you guys have been enjoying these little nursing school videos. If you want to see something specific or different, let me know in the comments down below because I really want to post what you guys want to see. If you watch this whole video, comment some purple heart emojis down below because you guys are loyal as heck. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't already. I have been growing a lot since I started nursing school and I've been super excited to see this audience. So if you watch this video, please subscribe down below and give this video a thumbs up. It helps me out so much and I'll see you guys next week. Bye. And after all this time, you'll read between these lines.